Generic intro in the Duck Ghost movie here, back with another Halo video, as you can tell from the title thumbnail. Today we are watching Halo, The Fall of Reach, full movie. It's hour and four minutes long. I've been recording so many long videos here recently. Yesterday I watched the, uh, what was that movie called? Uh, Nightfall. Well, it wasn't technically a movie. YouTube made it a movie and other things made it a movie on the Halo channel. It was a show. It was a five-part show. But YouTube and Showtime and all that turned into a movie. So I watched that yesterday, and that was an hour and 38 minutes long. This one's only an hour and four minutes long. I just watched the Halo 4 Spartan Ops uh, cutscenes, all of them. That was a 48 minute long video, which I literally just did before recording this one. So I'm doing a lot of recording. I'm end up recording for four straight days, which is kind of a lot, especially for me, considering they're all pretty much pretty lengthy. So. I've really been enjoying it, the amount of like lore uh, for Halo that I'm learning about, the deeper I get into it. Uh, the reason why I'm having to do all this in such quick succession is because apparently this takes place between Halo 4 and 5. I'm not sure if the Fall of Reach necessarily uh, will help me understand 5, because apparently 5 is a big difference, and 4 and 5, it, I wouldn't understand any of the new characters in Halo 5 if I didn't see this. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I was told to watch this, so I'm going to watch it. So this is either going to be on YouTube or on Twitch. So I hope it's on YouTube. Who knows how copyright is? Uh, I know that they can be kind of finicky when, when it comes to uh, their movies. I know the cutscenes and terminals and stuff, that's fine. But some of the movies, like uh, Forward Until Dawn, that's over on my Twitch. I didn't try to put that on YouTube because I don't think they let it. So whichever one it's on, I... Uh, I hope you enjoy and you uh, follow or subscribe wherever you are. Uh, I am should be starting Halo 5. I should have already started by the time you're watching this. I'm not sure when this video is going to go live. This might go live Monday. No, I, I don't know when this is going to go live, if I'm being completely honest with you. I got a lot of Halo videos I need to record. I'm starting Halo 5 tomorrow. So who knows when this video is going to go live, but it should be live before I start playing Halo 5 for the second time. Apparently Halo 5 is a pretty long game, 15 missions, apparently only 12 of them are actual missions. So it should take me like 4 or 5 weeks to get through, so who knows. Shout out to the patrons down below, wouldn't be able to do this without them. Uh, they helped me get through all this and my channel being deleted and everything. So I, I wouldn't have been able to get through it if it wasn't for them. So thank you to each and every one of them, thank you to everybody watching these videos. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy and you want to see more from me, I'd greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to get back up to where I was before YouTube deleted my channel. So. Had 20,000 subscribers, that was my year, my goal for the year, but apparently that turns on hard mode for uh, YouTube, and they just like, uh, no, no, we don't like that anymore. But hey, we get 50,000 for the end of the year, I'll dye my uh, hair whatever color uh, is voted on. And if we hit 100,000 for the end of 2020, I'll get a duck tattoo. I, I'm, as I'm sitting right now, I just hit 3,000, so who knows. I have a lawyer trying to get my main channel back, so if that happens... Good, good news. I, that channel is probably actually going to lose subscribers, so it'll probably be less than 20,000 when I get it back because people will see, oh, this channel got to leave it. Let me just unsubscribe from it. So who knows? Hopefully they give it back with everybody that was subscribed. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Hopefully everything works out for the best. But let's get let's get on into the Fall of Reach. Pretty long video. I'm going to enjoy it. I really enjoyed playing Halo Reach. It's on my channel playlist if you want to check it out. Whew. Okay. Do we have... Okay, I guess we don't have subtitles? Also, is this going to be a live action or is this going to be animated? I'm guessing from this that it's animated. Looks pretty animated. Definitely animated. We've got two hours to get back to base before Oni starts billing overtime. Where's the chief? Where's Linda? Um, what is this quality? Quick, short leave, Chief. It's also kind of quiet. We're a lucky command. Let us come at all. Hey, it's Chief. I missed you. This is it. Most of it's gone, but yeah, it's the place. Then let's do this. Sequence screw. Jen Taylor, Steve Downs. I don't know any of these people's names. Is Steve uh, the voice actor for Master Chief? Kiki. 
That's a nice name. All of Reach. Oh, it's a book. Okay. Ian Kirby. It's it's really quiet for me too, if you're wondering. I can barely Private hear it. Journal entry. Encrypt Halsey 424-3. Delete if tampered. A long time ago, I committed myself to a path, a direction. There were many branches in that path, but ultimately they all flowered, I think. John Another was the first Halsey. seed. I couldn't personally screen every candidate. The outer colonies were simply too scattered, too distant. But I had to set an example for the other extraction teams. So the first candidate... The first candidate... I dealt with personally. But the outer colonies no. were still very draw? dangerous places in those days. Albeit for radically different reasons. And so the Office of Naval Intelligence assigned me a chaperone. Pony. Perhaps for my safety. Perhaps for theirs. So what is this story? We are preparing to exit the keys near the Eridanus system. The young keys. Already awake and on the bridge, sir. Uh, of course she is. So this is back in the day, right? Well, if we ever see Halsey, we'll know for sure. Dr. Halsey. Are these shuttles all so damned claustrophobic? Oh, that's a young Halsey. Her hair's not white or gray. Doctor. Torin. Awaiting your orders, Dr. Halsey. Start a pre burn warm up cycle for the fusion engines. Understood. This animation is not very polished. Good. And some music. Rachmaninoff's Concerto Number no. Three, I think. What? Is that Earth? Yeah, doesn't kind of doesn't Lieutenant, really look like Earth. You needed my attention. I was going to say I should act as pilot. If I wished to be chauffeured, you would already be in this chair, Lieutenant. <laughs> if you wish to make yourself useful, take the comms. Also, keys only, sure Lieutenant. Our arrival is discreet. What are we doing here? This area is dangerous. It's been an insurrectionist stronghold for years. Meaning? Meaning the insurrection isn't some ragtag group of colonial rowdies. Torin, list rebel acts of violence in this sector last five days. Five days? Hours ago, insurrectionists destroy emergency food caravan. Eighteen hours ago, rebellion raids merchant vessel, murders entire... I am painfully aware of the rebellion. Oh, Lieutenant. so they like their murder. Something needs to be done. Oni agrees with me. That is why we are here. Oni? But if the Office of Naval Intelligence... This is a recon mission? How terribly perceptive of you. <laughs> but what could you possibly need to recon out here? Children. Very possible children. Is this where uh, John came from? Elysium City? I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to say that planet. Dressed like a fool. You're dressed like a father trying to get his daughter into a decent school. I don't have a daughter. And I don't have a pony. Pay attention. We are here to um, observe a pony. Okay. The first of many evaluations in the weeks to come. So it is John. I'm supposed to be protecting shipping lanes, not babysitting. This child could be more useful to the UNSC than a fleet of destroyers, a thousand lieutenants. Yeah. Or even me. Yeah. In the end, one child could be the difference between peace and an unwinnable war. Ah, there's our young man. Journal entry. Same encryption scheme. Who's next? John was the first. So that's He's Master Chief as a kid. Come on! You can't stop us all! Even as a child, yeah, can. I could see how special he was. Sense his unformed potential. Oh! They needed to carve away everything else to get to it. To shape it. Huh. Form him into everything I know. Oh my god! Are they supposed to be friends? Or is this like training at the school or something? He can't be more than six. John, like all of our candidates, is six years old. 
And like the others, he That's has all the genetic markers. Really There's something else that makes him of interest. Of interest to whom, precisely? Here. Record our interaction. I'll talk to him. Find out if his character is as exceptional as his DNA. You're about to kidnap a child. Hello. What's your name? It's John. Yeah. You already know his name. What game were you playing, John? War. King of the Hill. Mom says I'm too rough with the other kids. You, like you headbutted a child. I have another game, if you're interested. This is a coin. Win the game, and you keep the coin. You see the two sides? Yes. A man and a bird. Hmm. Which side will land up? Heads or tails. George Washington still on the coin. Bird. Very good. Again. Man. Again. Man. Bird. Bird. Five out of five, John. That's unusual. You said I could keep it if I won. Yes. You can keep it, John. Get a quarter. And he's out. Myself for you Stonks. <laughs> I couldn't afford the luxury of fondness. No telling if Subject 117 would even survive what lay ahead. Oh, he survived, all right. You recorded that. Reach military complex. It all fell into place so quickly seconds. after John. September 10th. Oh. It wasn't long before I had my final candidates. Who are you? These are the 75, Deja. Confidential journal. 75 candidates. Red encryption using my private key. As I said before, a duck I child. I don't regret any of this. I thought it all the way through. I am. Are they actually? It will be worthwhile. Is it a van? Right at that moment, across several star systems, children were being acquired and shipped like freight to the planet Reach. We were replacing the children with flash clones, imperfect simulacra, but nigh impossible to detect. If I could have used the clones, of course I would have. But the damn things broke down faster than we could grow them. We needed real children. Whole children. It was a regrettable, but what? deception. I needed those subjects. You fake kill people's children? Of compromise. Have That's so messed up. And I would have my solution. You they abducted a child, on us all. replaced it with a clone, Don't and then just let the clone they die. They are ready. Send them in. And Deja, on second thought, don't save this file. And these kids don't get any form of resentment. Oh, but they not remember. All of you. Per Naval Code 45812, you are hereby conscripted into UNSC Special Project codenamed Orion 2, also known as okay. Spartan 2. Your parents are gone. The planet Reach is your new home. Your fellow trainees oh. are your new family. Each of you has been hand selected and called to serve. Your bodies are already faster and stronger than other children and we are going to make them even better okay i like learning more Check about how the spartans are made escort the children to the mess hall feed them get them to bed trainees follow guess they're hand selected so she knows they're not going to have like resentment or not going to obey John, you need to wake up. Mom? Wake up! Wake up, trainee! Oh, a taser in the face. You know which way up is? No. Last one up gets it, Jorge! My 
My name's pronounced George. Hey, it's George. <laughs> oh, what a legend. Man, I miss George. I miss all of Noble Team. I'm Sam, by the way. I'm Kelly. It'll be okay, Kelly. It'll be okay. It's okay, so we're two weeks later on when they get introduced. Ladies, I am Chief Mendez. I am your commanding officer. Every day, dawn till dusk, you will do exactly what I say. When Never understood why they need the bar bar there. Am I clear, trainees? More reason to stay low. Naturally, they didn't all make it. We expected dropouts. There were accidents, incidents. Dropouts. Better that we separated the chaff from the wheat immediately. Come in. Class is about to begin. We trained their minds as well as their bodies. What if they refused? <laughs> Theoretical tactics. Some like they probably wouldn't, but why? Nothing in the sprawling history of conflict was overlooked. We taught them about Thermopylae, about the unbeatable Spartans. Xerxes wanted to steal Greece from the Spartans. His oh. Okay. Story of three hundred, which is just sail around them. Xerxes historically incorrect. To send a message, John. But he failed, and just three hundred Spartans. Greece. I've seen those movies. They're fantastic. Pretty but sure they had slaves with them. Mm -hmm. tell you about, wolves. about who? Wolves? Today's mission is ring the bell. When every member of your team has rung the bell, cross this line. Question training. What do we win, sir? You win dinner, 117. Last team to finish goes without dinner. Oh, no. oh wow. They're children. They needed to grow. Go. How is he going to make them seven feet tall if they don't eat? I knew John was a natural leader, even if he didn't. John, little help? Bye, Felicia. I guess that's why uh, the Spartans we just learned about in the Sarnops cutscenes. They were in a team, and John's never really been in a team, and Noble Team was a thing. First, a leader must inspire passion, and 117 certainly did that. Hey, 34, isn't that George? Who is 34? Good work, trainees. Everybody eats, except 117 and his team. But I was first. You were first, but your team came in last. And you don't win unless your team wins. Who is 34? Also, I would definitely beat somebody to death if they spit, on, spit in my face. I am germophobic. That would be instant, like, Did hands being thrown. Kelly. No. Kelly's right, Sam. He could have helped us today. Instead, he left us in the dirt. I'm sorry, guys. I stole them a few nights ago. They're stale, but better than nothing. He stole them. He's so it's rebellious. I know. It won't happen again. Promise. Who is 34? And that was it. Logic, consequences, spark of leadership. All things I saw in him from the start. Hmm. Two years later. So he's like eight now? July 12th. What in his training preserve? each being handed a portion of a map of the area below. The mission is simple. You will be individually deployed. What happened to this dude? Your piece of the puzzle to navigate to the extraction point. Last trainee to make it to extraction will be left behind. And it is a very long walk back 117 you're first yes sir um okay the river i got it pass the word quietly 117 front the and river center. are they all just gonna like cheat the system i mean good luck bill gates would rather hire a lazy person than a smart one
How wait, how old was John in Forward Unto Dawn? Didn't they say he was like eleven or something? Or the other Spartans were? I know they were like early teens. It was either eleven or like fourteen or something. It's been a while since I watched that movie. Is that edible? Or is that bait? You sound nothing like an owl, Sam. Ah, <coughs> I've been practicing. It sounded exactly like Sam. an owl. I was just drawing you out of cover. Who is 34? Look what I found. Blueberries? Nice! I hope these are blueberries. That's yeah. The food in the mess. <laughs> Your lips are blue. <laughs> so are yours. In the end, the wilderness mission wasn't a test of strength or survival, but a friendship. Yeah. After two years of training. Loyalty. You think they'd be able to? What are you doing? I'm putting our mark on this place, so we can remember it, now and forever. We should what is that? The others. Then what? Someone is still going to get left behind. Then I find a way to get everyone home. He's going to be left behind so everybody else can get the ride home so you can make the hard trip One back. That fragment was bogus, but I'm sure this is the extraction point. It's almost a day's hike from here. Then we better get moving. So how many Spartans or Spartan candidates are left? Because they started with 75 and then... It kind of died off at times. You guys with me, fall out and keep quiet. I heard something. And what I find fascinating is that even though you think you've prepared for every eventuality, they're armed, but they aren't in uniform. And they don't look like soldiers. Insurrectionists, maybe? Every contingency. So what now? Every permutation. Wolves. Wait, the days what? taught us about the wolves, how they hunt. What does that... The wolves? Children still manage to surprise you. Wolves' children are fierce hunters. But while any yeah. wolf can hunt and kill a rabbit... One wolf against larger prey... ...can face a grizzly. Yeah. You got that's why you had to have multiple. What the? I need help. My friend is hurt. Go bring that girl back. Yes, sir. But when wolves. Is this part of the test, or is this actually like? Uh, where's the girl? I think I broke my leg. Oh, I got your broken leg right here, kid. They take down larger prey. What? <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> okay. I think I had to get a better sounding owl call. I mean, these kids have been training for two years. Watch them show up at the, with the car. Like, they don't go to the rendezvous point, they just training drive back with the car. Was just explaining why he attacked and injured UNSC soldiers. And why he stole the property they were left to guard. <laughs> the craft was UNSC, but the men in the force were hostile and were not in regulation either. You flew home? Not exactly. I rigged the autopilot to return to base, ma'am. And you brought them all home? According to orders, last trainee to the ship was supposed to walk. Instead, we stuck together. Like the Spartans at Thermopylae. In the real ending of the story okay. of 117, the Spartans yeah, are betrayed and slaughtered. It is their yep. sacrifice that actually the hunchback. saves and unites Greece. But Rise of an Empire was a great movie. And then you hit with rocks, didn't? No, sir. They did not. Yeah, they didn't die. So, Doctor, what do we do with this one? Well, Mendez, I suggest a promotion to squad leader. Squad leader? Thank you, sir. What is the highest That's one way to do it. Non-commissioned officer, 117. The 
highest rank you can attain is Master Chief Petty Officer. Then I will. Perhaps you will at that. Yes, you will. I'm from the future. Yes, you will. And there will be casualties. What is that mission, sir? Your mission, John? Is to survive. Oh, I guess this is the physical? They talked about Aiken in, in, um... Nightfall. And how he had, like, titanium? Scars from titanium? Six years later... So he's six before two... He's 14 now? Samuel, Samuel 034. Blue Team Mission Report. Why? I don't why remember the operation. 34. Sound familiar. But when we awoke... 25, 25. March 25th. New. Unbreakable materials grafted to our bones. Gene therapy. Unbreakable? Their bones are unbreakable. Muscle density increased. Enhanced skeletal and muscular growth. Of course, we had no clue what we had to live through first. What? How long did it take? Data. Message from Admiral Saronis Jerome, Chief Medical Officer, Research Station Hope. How long did it take for them to, like, kill? One name. Zero alternatives to mitigate the risks in your proposed hypothetical experimentation. Can you imagine going to Starbucks and your name is Euronius? I the framework, Catherine, and admire the imagination. But I hope it is, in fact, a hypothetical study. Details are in the attached files, but your proposed treatments could result in any of the following. Cell necrosis, stroke, cardiovascular stroke and at the age of 14. Yeah! You propose the use of lab animals, simian proxies in your tests. I must be blunt. I cannot imagine any more than half of the subjects survive this process. Less than oh my god. This is terrible. That's a dead child. Imagine dying twice. I would hate to see the poor creatures destroyed in some Section 3 project, Dr. Halsey. Well, I've said my piece. Best of luck to you, Catherine. Gotta break a few eggs and make Doc, an omelet. Augmentation was always a vital but statistically dangerous stage. So that's four deaths. Only was promised soldiers, and you were the only mind that could accomplish it. How many dead, Data? Twenty-seven deceased. Twenty-seven. That's my favorite number. But that's that. Thirty-six percent. Children. I can't do math that fast. percent of the children. The subjects are just one half of the equation, Doctor. Both Mueller and the cognitive impression modeling are critical. You're correct. Doctor? This is our only option. Every day, the insurrection invents new acts of terror to pull humanity farther into the muck. Our civilization is balanced on a razor's edge, and the insurgents threaten to bring it down around our ears. If even now I understand why Halsey was... And balance is restored. History will absolve me for the greater good. Now I understand why she was treated as a war criminal and... The uh, Spartan Ops cut scenes. Beauty. Honor. Atlas. Self sacrifice. I forgot to see what year it was. We were Maybe 14. it's the same year. 14. We lost almost half of our comrades to augmentation failures. Death does not diminish these qualities in a soldier. We shall remember our dead. Honors. Attention! Kids I grew up with never said goodbye to. We commit the bodies of our fallen to space. Do they launch them into the sun? 
Okay, that, you know, there's a worse way to have a funeral. I don't know if necessarily being launched into the sun is the best way. Okay, maybe it's not going into the sun. No, oh, it'll eventually hit something. The deaths affected each of us differently. Fire teams came and went, but core loyalties and friendships endure, even beyond death. That was what, eleven of, of them? It didn't sit well with John. Where are you taking my men? Let them go, squad leader. They can't fight anymore. They don't belong here. What happens to them? The Navy takes care of its own. Their minds are still sharp, and our war effort can always use soldiers for less physical duties. Oh, John so basically I made them paraplegic or paralyzed? Was there something else, son? Sir, I'm squad leader. Members of my unit died. What should I have done to keep that from happening? 117, John, what your class went through that any of you survived at all is a testament to your strength. Walk with me. I guess. A leader must be ready to send the men under his command to their deaths. Your duty is to the mission. I'm sorry, sir. He's 14 already taller than that him. Applies to this situation. The lesson is sacrifice. It is acceptable to spend lives when necessary, squad leader. What is not acceptable to waste said lives. Which That's was true. This, sir? Spent or wasted? Get some rest, squad leader. He's asking the real questions at least. What did Mendez say? Not much. Let me guess. Something about duty and sucking it up. That sounds nothing like him. Like your owl. It sounds exactly <laughs> like him. Mm, your owl does. Hells are going to the shooting range later. You in? No. That sounds like fun. I'm going to hit the gym. That also sounds like fun. I wish I'd go to the gym. I miss the gym so much. John was still processing our losses, emotionally and physically. For weeks after augmentation, every bone in our bodies ate. Eight? And he's in the gym? Our eyes throbbed and bled. We got headaches. Fell down. Clumsy in our new skins. That's a lot of weight! Dr. Halsey told us our brains would have to relearn how to work with our new bodies. Learn how to use new strength and speed. That is so much weight. But it wasn't easy. And it was frustrating. ODSTs, okay. These are big boys. <laughs> the thing about John is that he really only knew three ways to react to people. <laughs> if you were a superior <laughs> officer, Balance. You. if you were in his squad, he would die for you. But if you were a threat? Then God help you. Yeah. ODSTs are good. But he's a Spartan. And he's also Master Chief. Well, not yet. But. Heart rate steady. Pulse level. He's barely breaking. His heart rate. What? His heart rate is 60. What we built him to do. He's winning. I'm gonna stop this now. How is My heart rate isn't that slow when sleeping. Oh. Those bars are heavy. Those bars are typically 45, 25 pounds. At ease. Your workout is over for today. Sir. Those men. Was this a test? No. You engaged and neutralized a threat, squad leader. They started it. I was defending myself. 
But still, they were fellow soldiers. People die. Sacrifice is a necessary consequence of war. But he sir, didn't kill them, though. Wasted, not spent. Wait, did he actually kill them? Your priorities are to follow orders, to preserve your life and the lives of your team. Is that clear, squad leader? Yes, sir. What? Did he actually kill we them? Heard what happened. Everyone on the ship did. It was an accident. It, that didn't make accident? it any easier for John. Oh, my God. He just killed three ODSTs with his bare hand. Apologies, uh, Doctor. Uh, but I have been attempting to decode a transmission from the planet Harvest. And? It's fragmented and incomplete. And it stopped repeating. Show me what you have. Uh, okay. That looks like a Covenant ship. Gods. Deja, give me a feed from Harvest. Scanning spectrum. Anything. A comm station, a news feed, a brain elevator, damn it. Not found. A brain? It may be what? interference. Or a problem may? with the slip space beacon relays. Harvest is on a 12 hour signal delay. Get Mendez, but keep scanning Harvest. Hmm. I'm accelerating the schedule. I want to test in a combat mission. Ma'am, that's needlessly aggressive. I disagree. Brass wants Spartans deployed, and so do I. So, hmm, is this September 12th? There's a mission Oni has been saving for the right team. Colonel Robert Watts earned his rank in the UNSC, but in 2512 he went turncoat and now leads the oh. insurrectionist forces in the Eridanus system. Watts has spent 12 years leading raids against UNSC targets, killing civilians and military alike. We have intel that Watts is planning to attack medical satellites in the outer colonies. Okay. Recently, one of Watts's men cut a deal with Oni. We have known for some time that Watts's forces were launching from the Eridanus asteroid belt. There are millions of rocks scattered over billions of kilometers. Yeah, that's Our the how did space not works. Know the exact location. However, he did know that the freighter Laden is a supply vessel. Mendez. Laden is set to leave dock in six hours for routine engine recertification. And yet, she's been loaded with enough food and water to supply a small city. Spartans, you will be dropped at the Eridanus 2 space docks. You will be dressed the same as members of the laden crew. Huh. Once in the base, you will infiltrate the installation and take Watts alive, if you can. They would have detected a UNSC ship. They wouldn't detect us. Be prepared for anything. Finally, squad leader, you are hereby promoted to Petty Officer 3rd Class. So he's not Master Chief yet. So I wonder, when do we see the footage that they were talking about in Ford Unto Dawn? Like the leaked footage Everything that they got their hand on and they were like, what is that? Before long, we were safe in the microgravity room. <sighs> can never get shut eye before a mission. Those are cool hands. Scanning freight and shipping documents. Read it to me. That'll put me to sleep. <laughs> Ten hours out, blue team. We'll rotate sleep cycles. Find anything, Kelly? Everything. Laden doesn't have a shipboard AI, and their security is a joke. Course setting. We've got a loose trajectory into the belt, but no final destination. Meaning insurgents don't even trust their own people. Keep digging, and wake me in four. That would... I'll take overwatch. Okay. This is the last Halo movie, right? Out of all of them? Well, I mean, I only have one more game left. Where did everyone go? John? Where were you when we needed you? We needed you. Oh, that's terrifying. That's absolutely 100% terrifying. What have you got? I picked up where Kelly left off, and I found something odd in the ship's manifest. Hidden in the standard rations, there's a single crate of cigars, steaks, and chocolates. Luxury items. That crate is going to Watts. Precisely what I was thinking. 
cigars, <laughs> chocolates. September fourteenth, twenty twenty-five. Follow me. Stay quiet. Blend in. Kelly, get a bearing on that crate. On the monorail, headed towards the tallest building in Whoa. town. Whoa. Only the best for Colonel Watts. <laughs> Nav marker at 443 meters and holding. I guess that's why they made it an animated. Animated. So all the other movies were live action. I guess it'd be kind of hard to show, like, John in different forms. Especially as a kid. That kid would be forever known as the Master Chief. <laughs> Fresh badge, Colonel. I've never had a cigar. Also never a cigarette. Guess that's fair. Ho! Oh! That's a big explosion. It was going well. We felt good. We got cocky. Watch it be a trap? I did. John got cocky. Why did John get cocky? Sam, look out! Whoa. Oh, he's definitely dead. Should have been me. Uh, secure the area. The biofoam will keep your guts where they belong till we get home. Guts. Oh, that was stupid. We've seen that John. stuff before. Queen doesn't sacrifice everything to collect a pawn. All the pieces go back in the same box when the game is done. I love that scene. You hit? Nope. I'm lucky. Some idiot caught my bullet for me. <laughs> Some idiot caught my bullet. For me. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. He's about to carry on the mission with biofilm. Okay. Don't look at it. They've never played CSGO. Hold hey, Watts. Me alive. My men will come for you. Empty the crate. He tried. Yeah. Load the cargo. Cargo? Unhand You're the cargo. Boy. I don't know who or what you are, but I know two things, son. One, none of you are getting out alive. And two, I am absolutely not getting in that damned box. Are you sure about that? Punch him again. Mission accomplished. November 2nd. Okay. We believe we had dealt the insurrection a mortal blow. Maybe we did, but everything was about to change. When the Fire Nation attacked. Oh, wait. Who's that? Uniform says keys. Hey! He's here to interrogate Watts? He's like your new father, kind of. Nice work, 117. John, isn't it? Yes, sir. Have we met? A long yes. time ago. You wouldn't remember. You were just a kid fighting in the dust. Oops, eight now years you're a ago. warrior. And just in the nick of time. Sir? You'll know soon enough. Dismissed. Amphitheater Spartans. On the double. So what happened to the rest of this team? <laughs> because John had a team. What do you think it is? Insurrection revenge strike? It's something else. Something big. Covenant. At ease, Spartans. I am Vice Admiral Stanforth. This is Stanforth. Arms. That's Population your last name. Population of three million. A peaceful and productive farming world. On February third, fourteen twenty-three hours, the Harvest Orbital Platform made long-range radar contact with this object. After That's a government chip. You can tell by the whiskers. Contact with Harvest was lost. The command assembled a battle group. What they found was all that was left of Harvest. Three million lives lost. The colony Three million. Ash, power like humanity has never seen. Then, they encountered this. A starship of unknown design. It destroyed the Vostok in Arabia. Is that the biggest ship? Using highly advanced weapons and impenetrable shielding. 
The Heracles escaped into slip space with substantial damage and brought this intel back. They will not negotiate. They will not communicate. They cannot be reasoned or bartered with. We had just fought the insurrectionists. They're Stopped not insurrectionists. Murder millions. Only to realize that this could be the very end of humankind. Yes. Period. And then you meet the flood, which the is even will a bigger back. problem. We've already seen that we cannot do it with the blunt instrument of a fleet. We need the surgical precision of a scalpel. The Spartan program is that scalpel. Yeah, I think they can do that. Receive the message before the attack in UEG base English. Play the message, Beowulf. Beowulf? Humans. Prophets. Your destruction is the will of the gods. And we are that instrument. I wonder which prophet that was. I can't tell them all apart. They've been dead for a very long time. Kelly zero eight seven of blue team. Mission debrief. Maybe eighty seven and thirty four were the two that were with him in uh, Ford unto dawn. We were on the Commonwealth, en route to Kai Seti four, when we weren't in cryo. George was we Spartan too. Crammed into the bunk room. Or something. There was always more prep, more planning. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it! You're still dropping your shoulder. I know! I'll do that then. Let's go again. Does Put Project on, John. Mjolnir mean anything to anyone? No. It's gotta be some kind of weapon. Brass isn't very imaginative with code names. Spartan 117, report to the bridge. Yes, ma'am. Sam, get everyone ready. On the double. You heard the petty officer. Dog the distractions and petty officer. So, uh, is anybody else in the uh, the Spartan training ever been achieved the rank of Master Chief, or is he the only, the one and only Master Chief? John was of all Spartans. Into a pissing contest between Dr. Holsey and the captain. Holy Ma forehead. Captain Wallace. There it is again. Doctor, that puts our ghost at eighty million clicks. Even if it were a ship, and I don't concur that it is. It would take an hour to get within weapons range. Besides, it's disappeared again. Captain, it is my recommendation that we go to battle stations. We have plenty of time. Unless there's something no, you don't. telling us. This go to battle stations. This is known, Captain, but the alien ships at Harvest disappeared, then reappeared much closer. An intrasystem jump. We believe so, Spartan. Not possible. I can tell you that slipstream space simply cannot be navigated that accurately. You mean we cannot navigate it with that kind of accuracy? Yeah. We'll take the dropship. I will see Come the Spartans on now. make it to Project Mjolnir. Oh, hey, like that. Halsey was right. Imagine that. not a drill. Reactors to 90% come about to course 125. All hands, brace for impact. Oh. That's a big ship. That ship is way bigger than their ship. We were being hunted down like dogs. Our only chance was whatever was down in that testing facility. Very agile for a ship of that size. They call themselves the Covenant. So I'm guessing this is like the very, very, very first like interaction with the Covenant that Halsey and Chief and all of them have ever had. Energy shields. That's amazing. Bring the ship around and arm the Mac. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Love me some Mac shots. Unlike the missile. The Mac Round 101 is an unguided projectile, so the firing solution Un has to be perfectly aligned to hit. Let Chief do it. So I guess the UNSC don't have energy shields? Uh oh.
Ready we good? Mac round. Mac system destroyed, Captain. The Commonwealth carries nuclear missiles, correct? The detonation at this range would destroy us as well. Excuse me, sir. The alien tactics have been unnecessarily vicious. They didn't have to take that second Mac round. In my opinion, sir, they would engage anything that challenged them. They're sending a message. Longsword Squadron Delta. Get those ships into the black, boys. Well, I wonder what a Mac round Delta. looks like. Roger that, sir. On our way. Is it a projectile? Arm the nuclear warhead. If so, I want to see it. <laughs> Proximity detonator at 100 meters. Is that the nuke? Or did they just put it on ships? Fire. Or they were the bait. Three, two. God. Not quite a havoc. Maybe it was. Back up slowly. Sensors coming back on. All long sword interceptors vaporized. Covenant ship intact, sir. Intact? It is moving off, though, sir. Most likely to make repairs. You get it caught a nuke. I have my orders to get you and yours to Kai City 4 at all costs. At all costs? We execute a flyby That's orbit, expensive. Your drop ship will take you and your crew planet side. The Covenant return, we will lure them away. Okay. Is Halsey with the Spartans? Damascus Materials Testing Facility to incoming Pelican. Identify. This is no. Dr. Catherine Halsey, Damascus Clearance 197371 Alpha. Doctor, you are cleared for landing. Pad 4. So Halsey is with the Spartans. I wonder why they got sent there. This is Project Mjolnir. Mjolnir wasn't just weapons tech. It was Halsey's endgame, her force multiplier. Is that... We were only half of the plan. The armor was the other. Hmm. The armor shell is a multi-layer alloy of remarkable strength. An What's online computer of? connects with your neural interface to continually track tactical information. And the inner structure is composed of a new reactive metal liquid crystal that is amorphous, yet fractally scales and amplifies force. Ma'am, so you're saying this exoskeleton enhances both the wearer's strength and speed? Yes, 104. By oh. a multiple of five. Sign me up! In By drives, five, ma'am. This system is so reactive that I'd our be so fast. tests with unaugmented volunteers ended in failure. Oh, oh, oh! Movements broke their bones, tore their muscles. Their own agony-induced spasms killed them. But and he wasn't augmented. Humans. Your enhanced musculature and skeletons should be enough to allow you to harness bones? the armor's power. Now, I'll need a volunteer. I'll do it. I'll be first. Talk about a fail safe, so nobody will steal your armor. You get in it, of course, kills you. John volunteered. He was always the first to explore the unknown for the rest of us. Yeah, if he dies, he doesn't, doesn't see Move the rest of you die. Slowly, deliberately. The armor cannot be powered down. The response cannot be scaled back. It's shifting. Each suit has a gel-filled layer to regulate temperature and fit. Huh. John, ready for your first step? Yes, ma'am. No wonder why he's able to watch endure so much. It felt like the entire fate of humanity lay in one step. Come on, man, you got this. I think we'd be dead by now. It's lighter than I expected. Easy now. Hmm. Well, how does it feel? Like I was made to wear it, man. 
So is he done growing? John was right. He was made to wear it. We all were. Ooh. Spartans, this is what we've trained our entire lives to do. If we lose here, we lose everything. Let's send our own message. Sir, yes, sir! Commonwealth to Dr. Halsey. The very first Spartans. I'm here, Captain. The Covenant ship is moving. They'll be on us inside ten minutes. I'm sorry, Doctor. It looks as if you're on your own. Dr. Halsey, let us take a shot. Well, We're the best it's only she doesn't have your the only best option. fighters in like, the world, ready. universe, you know it. galaxy. John was right, and Halsey either did know it, or at least knew better than to argue. Godspeed, John. This ought to be good. They weren't the first Spartans, I don't saying, think. You could have volunteered Red Team instead. You want me to pull over? Let you out right here? As Chief Mendes would say, it's a long walk home. <laughs> Look, you know I trust you in everything, but how are we supposed to take on a Covenant ship in a Pelican? Drown them in our blood? I was thinking, the Commonwealth's Pelicans are carrying nukes. Nukes won't even scratch them. They are? Not from outside their ship. The little ship has nukes? That's right. We can't beat them with brute force, remember? Scalpels. Surgical precision. It is a Havoc nuke. Small enough they won't see us coming. I hope. Gear up. That's a very small Havoc. Ships on autopilot. Course can be tracked via our HUD. You heard this plan? And we're still doing it. I think it's a great plan. I seriously love this plan. I'm on board. I love this plan. I love it too. All right. They all like Here it. Go. John. Probably because it's John's. If we miss, we won't. Yeah, you're not gonna miss. Wow, they're actually going in. I wonder if they'd be detected. The turrets. The shields have to at least iris for them to fire. We time this right and we're behind their shields. We time it wrong, we're smoking. Sam, Kelly, with me. Fred, Linda, take the other side. We'll rendezvous somewhere in the middle. He's still calling them by their first names. At what point? Oh, I guess they can see them. Pick them up on radar. Oh, so the shields open up to allow them to shoot. That's interesting. Huh. Here, let's put a Havoc nuke inside of the hull of your ship. I'm not going to make it! Nice. Everyone makes it. Okay. Why don't they just set the nuke and forget about it? I've got drink of radiation readings from all over the ship. Or Could maybe be. they want intel. Agreed. But the largest reading is coming from the center. Likely the ship's reactor. Hmm. Interesting. Sam, you take point. Kelly in the middle, guiding the way. I'll bring up the rear. Like a wolf. Packs of wolves travel like that. The leader stands in the back. Make sure nobody gets left behind. The pressure doors were immense. The ceilings were three meters high. The air thick and oily. Ew. Symbols, different languages. Only had theorized the covenant was more than just one race. This helped confirm it. It was a bunch of them. A grunt. Yeah, that was cute. They aren't bulletproof. Good to know. 
Collect samples. Tissue, armor, weapons. Only will want it. Think we should have tried communicating? They no. understood us just fine. Come on. Plasma pistol. We don't know what else is on the way. A grunt by himself. You don't see many grunts walking around on their Clear. own. You imagine the first time you see an elite. Ah, yes, you are eight feet tall. You have multiple jaws. Um, why don't you just stand there and shoot him? Oh, yeah, shields. Whoa! Ooh, gotta love that pistol. I'm okay. Just burns like nothing else. You'll be fine, but Biophone won't steal this. That was stupid, Sam. You did the same thing for me. That was different. They can't afford to lose you, John. That is true. This giant ship, and there's only... They've only run into one elite and one grunt. This is the source of the radiation spike. I have no idea what it is. Doesn't matter as long as it explodes. I'll arm the warhead. You two. Contact! Ah, Jackals. God, I can't wait to see you die. God, I hate Jackals. So much. In the front. Oh, yeah, you're dead. They actually grouped up like that. I'll seal the door. John, finish arming that warhead. Nah, nah, nah. Nice. Use the sniper rounds on a grunt. Not so nice. I'm thinking that no matter how dark the future got, we could face it as a team. Warhead countdown. Eh. Let's move. Or so I thought. Set to what? You guys should get moving. You guys? You're not coming? Kelly. No. We don't leave anyone behind. My suit is breached. Uh oh. I into that vacuum, and I'm dead anyway. No. No. Is it really we don't breached? Leave anyone behind. He's not staying to die, Kelly. He's staying to fight. Go. Our new friends aren't going to wait for us to argue. Not a waste of death. You got three minutes. I know Spartans don't cry, but for once, I was glad for the helmet. Hmm. Sam was our first loss since augmentation. I would put your helmet on. Nice. We thought training, augmentation, armor made us untouchable, invulnerable. Well, they don't have shields yet. Blue team. We were wrong. We were children. Fourteen, yeah. This was the only thing John was ever afraid of. Losing one of us. Well, what happened to Blue team? And we knew we weren't finishing this fight. We were just getting started. Wait, who are they shooting at? Are they drawing their fire? Or is the uh, the Pelican drawing their fire because it's set on autopilot and they can track it? That might be it. I was 14 then. All I can think about was that day. Sam carved our mark into the world. Right here in the wilderness. Before it was all burned. For Sam. Hmm. For, For Sam. Sam. And Chief keeps his helmet on. 
Sam of course fell he does. first. And yet he showed us that the Covenant could be killed. Sam proved we could win this war. Every battle won is built on the foundation of that sacrifice. If we survive this, it's because Sam showed us the way. Yeah. Kind of. He's not dead, he's just in my air. Sam was my friend. He was my brother. He was our brother. Last time we were here, I asked Sam to trust me to take us home. To follow me. Will you trust me now? Will you follow me? I follow Chief. Pretty much anywhere. It was... It was definitely not what I was expecting. I'll say that for sure. I love learning more about the uh, the Spartans. That was for sure. The animating was a little little rough. But... I understand why they had to do an animating. All the other... The previous two movies that I watched were... All live action. But I think this is the last movie? I want to say? So... Jen Taylor, Steve Downs. Yeah, I thought Steve Downs was uh, uh, the voice of Chief. Cause I think uh, DB got him to do like a cameo thing. And everybody lost their mind. John Teen. So why does he all? Why does he permanently leave the helmet on though? They didn't really explain that. Like, why does he just? Why does he hide so much? Is there any reason for that? We didn't learn about that. I, I'm still kind of like, oh yeah, let's just kidnap your children and place them with a clone that we know is going to fail, so you have a dead child regardless. I mean, they couldn't make a fully working clone. That'd be just weird. Okay, wow. And of course, I always show the credits just to show appreciation to everybody that uh, took part in the movie. This is the one time they get their name to be seen, so that's when I uh, show it. I'm not sure if this is going to work on YouTube or it's going to be on Twitch. I'm not sure how copyright's going to work. It, from like a watching standpoint, out of all the movies, this is probably my least favorite out of the three. But I did really enjoy the story, learning more about Chief, because this one was centered around Chief and the Spartans and how they're made and everything. I really enjoyed the story of this one. This is probably my favorite story out of all the movies. Nightfall was really good too. Well, Nightfall wasn't technically a movie. I don't even think this was technically a movie. This was a uh, a show, right? Why do we still have 20 seconds? Is there anything after credits? Okay. That was not that. I don't know what that was. But that was The Fall of Reach. Huh. So, I guess there, is there going to be room for, like, one more story to, like, maybe go full circle with the Unto Dawn thing? Because this was, like, way back. So, let's see. John was born in year... Oh, God, what year was it? I forget what year it was. Well, he was 14 in 2025, right? Or 2525. So, that means he was born, what? 2511 I think so I'm not sure where we are in Halo 4 people said he was getting old like 40s or 60s or something like he's really old yeah I don't think Spartans get like a retirement plan or a pension or something they either go MIA or fight until they go MIA <laughs> that seems to be their options but I loved learning about these uh how the Spartans are made, that always fascinates me. I always grew up watching, like, the military channel and stuff and looking at, like, how Navy SEALs are trained. I kind of get that vibe off the Spartans. Like, the elite of the elite, they go through the toughest stuff, the most grueling training. Not everybody makes it. Not everybody goes through it. It's why it's so elite. And I guess this explained why uh, Halsey and John are so close because Halsey found John as, like, the very first one and went and saw him personally and met with him before all of this. So, I just watched the uh, the Spartan Ops uh, cutscenes, and that that was really good. That told a really really good story. So I'm ex I'm excited because I think there's going to be a Halsey and Master Chief reunion 
coming up soon. I don't know if it's going to be Halo 5 or Halo Infinite or Infinity. I think it's Infinite. But I'm really looking forward to that game. I'm really looking forward to doing more Halo, especially to come out with more, mo more movies and stuff. You'll find it on the channel, so subscribe if you're new and you want to see that so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, cue the music. We were born.